What's going on guys, this is Matei with Tech Vitamins again and uh, today I want to continue um, showing you some of our products that we offer on one of my other websites which is another company that I own. Um, if you want to know a little, bit of, a little bit of history about that company, check out the other video where I show you the best pad of 2000, or best Windows 7 pad of 2011 and now I want to uh, give the spotlight to what I think is truly one of the best netbooks I've ever owned uh, not just because we sell it but I have been using this thing for the last two years or a year and a half um, as my uh, most mo mostly used business tool I carry this thing with me everywhere um, so let's take a look at it um, it's called a companion touch 10 it's a model that again M&A Technologies uh, distributes to us and that uh, we resell to our clients and essentially what it is it, it's a 10.1 inch screen netbook um, you know running Windows 7 so let's take a look at the outside first and see what we got um, it's about um, a little bit less than a page let me take a eight and a half by eleven pages to show you the size to compare it I can cover the whole netbook with this page if you can see that so you know it can fit in your binder anywhere you need to um, it has this awesome uh, handle which I use a lot it helps you carry the netbook it has a rubberized uh, feel to it so um, you know it's it doesn't really slip it's protected believe it or not it actually has a water resistant keyboard so you can actually spill something on this and nothing will happen to your computer and it's drop proof I mean this this laptop was made to be rugged that's why um, we offer it to our contractors because it's using the field for energy audits mostly but um, uh, initially this was designed for K through 12 kits to offer this to schools and I guess that is the primary um, client that m and technology has is schools and uh, you know public services stuff like that but uh, we resell this just sorry either the home premium or the Windows 7 Pro their version comes with this overlay for kids which I don't really prefer it has a lot of you know uh, programs that I wouldn't use it makes the icons bigger um, that you can touch and the reason is is because actually this also happens to be a touchscreen laptop which is awesome um, you can swivel the screen just like that and uh, basically close it and give it a second it's loading it's going to switch the uh, orientation of the screen but you can literally take it like this it has this cool stylus with it that uh, you can use to draw um, it's very nice actually especially if you're using something like paint now um, I don't know if they updated the driver yet but um, it is not touch sensitive so it wouldn't really work with your fingers it uh, see so works with the stylus only for now um, but I think the technology that the screen provides a four wire resistive uh, to, uh, screen if the driver allows it to be configured it should be um, able to be configured for touch um, so you could use it with your fingers as well but you see how it's very responsive uh, and I like it much better with this pen I think you know you can bring up the keyboard if needed if you need to type um, it's very you know this keyboard is very similar uh, to the pad that I introduced in another video um, but again you know I, I love the screen I love the way that you can um, draw on it type and so forth So other than having this really cool uh, rotating screen, um, touch screen basically, it also has a cool camera. Uh, let me show you real quick. You see at the top we got a camera for video chatting um, or even for taking pictures if you really wanted to. But it's only 1.3 megapixels so I would not recommend it for anything other than video chatting. But the cool thing about it is, let me bring up the uh, camera software right here, is that it's a 270 degree rotation on this thing so I can go all the way around you see now it's my back white cover there so it's real cool the way um, you can capture images with the camera even if uh, you know you're sitting in front of the laptop somebody thinks you, there's no way you can uh, videotape them but actually you can so um, let me turn that off uh, other than that let's get into some of the um, hardware specs so we saw the camera we see this rugged case it is drop tested from about two feet um, and I guess this is part of the hardware. If you notice, and I drop it, it activates. And I guess this to be harder. Um, there we go. If you see this HDD protection is active. Now that's a software 
that basically shuts off your hard drive whenever it detects a drop or anything like that. Uh, so it protects all your data. Very cool on that. Um, other than that, we should have the power button. We got the home button right here and a, another, I believe this is a dimming button right there on the, on the right side. Uh, we have other buttons right here which I believe can be set to whatever you need to if you like to work with uh, the orientation I showed you earlier which would be in this uh, format basically but I don't really I don't I haven't set my buttons at all yet um, let's see we got our two speakers which aren't in anything nothing spectacular but it does have stereo um, audio output jacks as well as mic it's got a USB on the side you can connect a projector or another screen to this, very useful. Um, here's a little spot that says GPS. Now this unit does not have it, but these units can come with a GPS antenna and a 3G antenna. Um, so that's very useful as well. Um, I have used actually um, Google Maps on this in the car, which is pretty interesting. And it's awesome with my Android uh, 4G device that uh, I can basically tether internet to this and have internet anywhere. Let's continue with the hardware. Um, we looked at the camera. This side uh, gives you another um, USB input. We have a card reader right here. The rubber protection uh, cover. This is the power plug and then we have our LAN um, plug right there so you can uh, be on a wired network if needed to. You notice in the back we have this little bulge. That's the six cell battery. And this thing it says is rated up to eight and a half hours. Um, I definitely always use internet on this or 90% of the time so I've never gotten a half hours out of it but I can guarantee you that you get solid six, five and a half at the least. So that, I mean it's it's very very good for a Windows computer. This thing lasts me all day at work um, without having to really plug it in. Um, so definitely love the battery life on this. Um, we got the mouse pad, nothing else major in here. This, this cover opens up the inside of the computer if you want to upgrade the memory. But the uh, model we sell comes with two gigs of uh, RAM. So let me just get into some of the other specs uh, that include the hardware. Um, this thing has an Atom N450 1.6 gigahertz processor. It's a dual core processor, uh, perfect for this uh, mobile netbook. Again, you see my little widget at the top. We are running two processors, and it is running two gigs of RAM, as I mentioned earlier. Um, that's the PC2 6400 200 pin um, RAM. Uh, I think if you order from other websites, the stock uh, option comes with one gig, but all of ours that we sell are they come with two gigs. Um, in terms of the hard drive, this particular model, the one that I'm using, has a 160 gigabyte um, hard drive. I believe it's a 5400 RPM, so you know it's definitely uh, it's good for a netbook. It does what it needs to do, but um, if you order it now, I believe they come with 250 gigabyte hard drives. Or you can have an option for 16 or 32 gigabyte solid state. Now, I don't think that, to, to me, that's not an option I would choose because the drop test is the same height um, rated for this for both a solid state and a uh, regular hard drive because of that software. So, you know, since you do have a full SD card capability right there, you could just buy your own 32 gigabyte SD card if you really wanted to and just use that. So obviously your operating system is not going to be on there, but you know, um, th there is that option again. So going to the screen, we mentioned earlier we got the 10.1 uh, inch 4 wire resistive touch screen. Um, and the stock resolutions from other websites will probably come at 1024 by 600, but this model comes at uh, the resolution 1366 by 768. So again, I love that. I love higher resolutions and small screens, even watching HD video. It's pretty good on this. I mean, the video card and the processor uh, can't handle HD videos that well, even on YouTube. But I've had issues with it, but you know, when it when it does, when it is able to handle uh, HD video, it comes out um, across fairly nice. Um, it's and it's very light too. Uh, it's only 3.5 pounds, which for being a rugged laptop with you know the rubberized surface and all the features it has, I don't think uh, that's anything to be upset about. Uh, so we pretty much described the hardware. Um, you know, in terms of the software, I don't have anything special on here, but again, I do use this for business. So um, I was finally this year able to uh, fully put myself in the cloud, I guess you can say. I'm using uh, Google Apps. 
So all my business documents, everything is pretty much runs through my Google Chrome browser at all times. Um, so it's a very, very useful thing to have. I don't really even have to worry about using this hard drive for any storage because, again, I store everything on Google Docs. And with my 4G internet through my phone or if I'm in the office or at my house, obviously Wi-Fi is always connected to this. The internet speed is very fast. So there's really not even that much of a need for a large hard drive unless you want to store your music on here. Which so again, you know, it's a standard Windows 7 machine, but I, I really just love this laptop. I mean, the keyboard, even though it may look small, it's very easy to get used to. Anything smaller than this, I would not recommend. Mousepad works very well. Um, you know, again, the fact that you can spin it around and actually draw on it. Whenever I get bored, sometimes I do use uh, paint and transfer it on into like Illustrator, mess with it. But again, I love this laptop. Um, it goes only for $600 with the package that we sell and I truly have to rate this the best netbook of 2011 and I'm sure there's other out there that may beat this in performance, screen clarity or anything like that but you know having all these features being drop tested, being rugged as it is uh, it's absolutely an awesome machine um, and I do want to point out um, that you can also get this with Linux operating system on it um, from the M&A Technologies website. If you get it through us, we only sell it again with Windows 7 Home Premium or 7 Pro. So, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, let me know if you had other netbooks that you love uh, that I should check out maybe next year for our new line of products. But as long as um, M&A Technologies is going to continue to produce or make these uh, netbooks, we're going to continue to provide these to our clients. Again, this is the second generation they got and I'm, I'm very excited to see the third one so subscribe leave comments hope you enjoy this thanks guys see you later